Hi guys, in this exercise we'll have a look at how to create a 14 page recipe book in Affinity Designer from a template on the iPad. Now this is not desktop, this is iPad, although it's equally easy on the desktop and in fact on the desktop you could also use Affinity Publisher. It's much the same thing, but let me show you how you can do it in Affinity Designer on the iPad. I mean, this has got to be handy when you're out and about on the job and you're trying to tell a client how things will look. This is perfect. It's just what you want. So let's have a look at it. Now, the original master, the recipe book template. It's a 16-page modern clean affinity designer magazine template that can be used for any type of industry, really. I'm using a cookbook, but you could use anything. The template can be easily edited and customised. 16 pages, paragraph styles, character styles, master pages, affinity designer or publisher template. It's print ready with bleed, which works well in the iPad in designer, but sometimes you can't see it, but we'll get to that. Automatic page numbering. Now this is in place on, the, on affinity designer on the iPad, but I'm not too sure that it works correctly. So if you add pages, you may have to renumber them by hand. However, it's easy to edit color, text, images on different layers. And the free font that's used is Roboto, R-O-B-O-T-O, -O, Roboto, I guess, from Font Squirrel. Note, photos are not included. The mock-up is just preview only. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Now, the original that we use resides on Envato Elements, which is where I found it, as an Adobe IDML type file, but we're not using Adobe, and you can't open them on the iPad. So I'm going to save you the trouble of converting it, and I'll place the link to it in the description underneath this video, where you also get the opportunity to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give it a thumbs up for likes and tap the bell to be reminded when new videos are in place. I'll download the zip file I created and already converted it to an affinity template that can be opened in designer. Now remember templates operate across the different applications designer and publisher. It can also be opened in affinity publisher as well of course but that's only on the desktop so far but we're on the ipad now first you need to download the template that i created new recipe book af template open affinity designer on the ipad and select new from template everything's easy so far next select the downloaded template file and there it is it's called new recipe book dot af template and that's where i've put it in a folder where i keep such things now show the pages with the document loaded generally you should see that first page page one recipe book the let us guide now go to the document panel that's up the top there that's the one that's shaped like a page of the corner turned over and the three little dots at the bottom of it and select the pages option. You'll see a pop-up menu towards the bottom of the first open page and you can see it there, the arrow is pointing to it. Now if you tap on that page one for example, it brings up the full list of pages. And what we want to look at is the master page. The whole document contains bleed guides as well as all other formatting options. Let's look at the master pages first by selecting Master A first, just like Publisher. Do this by tapping the Pages drop-down to bring up the list. Before we make changes, explore carefully what is there as you select Master A. Remember, we're creating a template, so even automatic page numbering should still work from the original. And it does, but if you make changes, be aware, hmm, it may not do it comfortably. But we're just doing a 16-page spread. That's all we need. Now, you've got recipe book, 
cooking is easy as a footer on both pages and you can change that easily. Explore this further in the layers panel and there's all your layers. Select Pages Master B and again investigate the properties. Only change those things you think need changing. For example, the book title on each page of Master A and Master B. When satisfied, open the Pages tool again and select Page 1. If you are now ready to input content, first export your document as your template. You want to save this as a template somewhere. It's a real pain when you make all those changes and you've forgotten to save it as a template. Now it's time to add text, your recipes and images. It's simply a matter of changing the items already being used as place markers. Before you proceed though, as I said, export the project as a template. Then save your work as a normal AF design project. Then you can make whatever changes you like safely. Images used here are from Pixabay in the stock studio. Now pages two and three, again, select documents, pages and select pages two and three. See how easy it is? Continue to modify your images and text. Now those images all have um, place markers and all the text fields have play, place markers and the backgrounds, everything has place markers. So it makes it really easy. The pink column guides can be turned off of course and don't normally print either. So you go up to the um, document menu at the top, the little folded page and select guides and scroll to the right till you find column guides and you can turn them on or turn them off. I've got them on because it enables you to very neatly align text in columns. They don't print out of course, you can leave them on as a good, as a good and handy guide and they won't print out. They are there to help you control text and image layout. To avoid problems with your print company not having a font you use, remember to convert all text to curves and group them. Don't leave them splayed out across your, your um, layers. Select them all and group them. For example, Alberto and Senior Chef, you would normally convert those, that text to curves because your printer may not have the Roboto, Roboto, however you pronounce that, font. Just remember that. I often see people saying, oh, my printer hasn't got my font. Just convert them to curves and you won't have that problem. Now, building content. Again, select documents, pages, and select page four and five. See how easy it is to step through this. Now, I haven't altered any of the text. The layout's perfect, but that's lorem ipsum dummy text. So you will have to put your own text in there. And of course, the fields will modify the size slightly, but you should be used to that and you can deal with that. Continue to modify your images and text as before. Again, the images are from Pixabay. Continue through all pages. This exercise shows you just how possible it is to edit a full book on Affinity Designer on the iPad. And I might add that I'm using an iPad mini here, very small, but that's all I ever use. And I love it. It's a great little device. And here I am doing page work on it. Who says you need publisher? This is important as it allows you to show a client, for example, without having to be in the office. You can also open the document or the template in Affinity Publisher. Work your way through the document until the end and then export it as a PDF ready for printing out. And that's the exported PDF. Looks very nice. Well, I can only show you two pages here and I believe that's page six and seven possibly. 
The text is a bit small there for my tired old eyes, but there you go, page six and seven. Looks nice. And that's just what you can do. So, thanks for watching. I hope you find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the thumbs up for a like and the bell to be reminded when new videos appear. I really appreciate it. Now, don't forget to look in the description for the download link for the resources.